Now, if you want to download Primal, uh, it used to be, although I have found this fall, uh, it is not true, and I need to check on that. It used to be the university had a university-wide license for PyMall. And so if you were on campus, you could download PyMall on the university license. Uh, that's, uh, you can get an educational version now, uh, but you can't get the regular version for free. Hopefully, we'll get the university license back um, sometime soon. But you can download and install PyMall. And this is the structure visualization program we're going to start working with uh, now. And so if we have no more questions about the protein data bank and NMR structures, we'll go on to PyMall. Everyone good with that? OK. So you don't actually have to download PyMall uh, if, uh, if you're uh, here within the, in this room, uh, the biogenetic room, you can actually, I think you have a start. Um, if you look at all programs, you should be able to find PyMol and then launch PyMol. Everyone have that? If anyone's having problems, just let us know. The bottom one. You want to pull up both windows. So uh, click the option for the bottom one. Start all programs, PyMall. Uh, the bottom one pulls up both screens. So there's two screens that will come up. One is the Tickle console, and the other is the Graphics Viewer. So you should see something like this pull up. So this top window here. Uh, is the Tickle interface, uh, and that um, then the viewer is on the bottom. This is your graphics viewer. Everyone see those two windows? Now, if you're for the people that are um, online, if you are working with a Mac and you're working with Mac PyMall, your two windows will be connected into one. They won't be two separate windows. Do we have any viewers online that are using Mac? Because if there's not, then I'll just stick with the window. I won't make it. No one's saying anything. OK. If you are using the Mac, type a message. And then I will address comments. Uh, for when there's differences. Otherwise, I'm going to assume everybody's on a Windows machine. And, and just we'll deal with just this one version of PyMo. Now, we're just going to do a real quick um, fun thing to do here. At the top here in your uh, Tickle interface, there's a white line there. If you just type the command F-E-T-C-H, Space 1-O-W-X. So fetch, F-E-T-C-H, space 1-O-W-X, and then hit return. You should see a structure pull up like that. Now this is actually uh, the NMR structure we were just talking about. And so you'll see, if you look at this object line, we're jumping way ahead. I'll, we'll go back through this in a little more detail. But this is just kind of a fun exercise. You should see a 1 slash 20, meaning you're showing the first structure of 20 structures. Anyone having problems with that? Uh, can you see, just type fetch 1 space 1 OWX, and then hit return. Now you can, with your mouse, the uh, left button on your mouse, you can rotate the molecule and look at it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to show cartoon. Or sorry, under the S, if you uh, look at the one OWX, come over to S for show. Click there, come down to cartoon, and hit cartoon, and you should see something like that come up. 
Now we're going to come back and talk about all of these commands, but we're just doing a fun little exercise right now. Anyone having problems on pulling this up? Okay, now all you need to do is come down to the bottom and at the very bottom on the right hand corner you have some movie uh, displays. So you can just click run and you'll see it's flipping through those 20 structures. Everybody see that? All right, so you can actually save that to a movie. You have a lot more to do, I guess, not a lot more to get the movie I made. Uh, but uh, that can be how easy it is to make a simple movie in PyMall. We're not talking about movies today, uh, but it's fairly easy uh, to do. Now, we're going to stop this, and we're going to come up to the top. We're going to file, and down at the bottom, reinitialize. So we're going to go back to the start as if we hadn't done anything. So I'm going to come back to my slides. Uh, and I want to introduce some things to you. Now, there are different types of commands uh, to PyMall. We started PyMall. There are menu-driven commands. There are typed commands. There are object commands and movie and mouse controls. So we're going to go back to PyMall and let me show you where these different things are. Up at the very top in your tickle window, uh, Tickle window is your menu command. You have file, edit, build, movie, display, etc. So if you click on those, you can see the menu show up. It toggles down, which you can tear off if you need to. So these are your menu commands. Now, your type commands, there are two locations. There's one location at the bottom of your tickle interface. There's another location down here at the bottom of the graphics window. Now, the, you type the same command in both places. So there's no difference in the commands that are accepted in your tickle interface or in your graphics window. The only difference is if you have commands typed into a file, you can cut and paste them into the tickle window, but you can't copy and paste into your graphics window. You actually have to type it in the graphics window. In both cases for type commands, if you mistype something, you can up arrow. So I type the command here. I can, um, oh, I reinitialize so I don't have the command anymore. But I could have pulled up the fetch 10wx. And let's say I typed 10wj, not the structure I wanted. I can up arrow and, um, Oh, there it is. Yeah, I just needed to click. Fetch 10wx. You can up arrow and edit the command. So those are your type commands. Your mouse commands, down in the lower right-hand corner above your movie, uh, by default, most of you are set up for a three-button mouse, which you have right-left button in the wheel. That's a three-button mouse. And you can see if you click on the left button, you rotate. A uh, middle button moves. Uh, or actually is a zoom, and then the right button is a move Z. We'll play around with the mouse, but this is giving you a code as to whether you do left button, middle button, right button, or wheel is a slab, and then if you do shift or control those commands. Now, if you want to change, if you're home working on a laptop and you don't have a three button mouse, then you can come up here to mouse, and you can pick. Uh, three button motions, editing, viewing, uh, or two button uh, modes, or one button viewing modes. So you can change. I find the easiest is to use a three button mouse. I've done it so many years it happens instinctively now. Uh, so we're going to stick with the three button viewing. Uh, you have a lot more options. So those are your mouse controls. You have down at the very bottom below that you have movie controls. You also have movie controls in the tickle, tickle window up here. You have stop and play. Um, now, in the tickle window in the upper right-hand corner, the main buttons, there's two main buttons that you'll uh, get to know. One is reset, and the other is ray trace that we'll talk about today. Um, and so there's nothing exciting going on now. But that's the introduction. 
uh, to the menu-driven commands, type commands, object commands, and movie and mouse controls. 